Welcome to our 19th video with data structures and algorithms. And we're going to do another example with mathematical induction. So we have t of n here is constant if n is 1. And t of n is 2 times t of n over 2 plus bn plus c, right? Some linear function if n is uh, greater than 1. And we want to prove that t of n is this equation right here. So, well, we start with our our base step, right, or base case, whatever you want to call it, and we need um, some sort of base input, right? Now, if you're thinking it's one, um, that would that's a it's a little too obvious, right? So we can show something that's a little better to prove this, and we're going to use. Uh, inputs of n that are some power of 2. Why is that? Let's say instead of this, we used n equals 3, and we would have something like this. 3 halves plus 3, uh, let's, whoops, yeah, b times 3, that's never written that way, 3 b plus c, right? And we'd have to plug this in, right? So this would end up giving us some t of 3 over 4 and the rest, and which would then give us t of 3 over 8, right? And we're not going to get down to what we really want, right? Uh, we have some weird number, and this is a kind of a mess. Okay, so let's use, let's make this easy on ourselves and use uh, inputs of um, powers of 2. So if we say that n is equal to 2, right, as our base uh, step, and that tells us that we have 2t of 2, uh, let me write this a little bit bigger. We have 2t of 2 over 2 plus 2b plus c, which is equal to, uh, oops, 2t of 1 plus 2b plus c, right? And we know that t of 1 is constant. So this is just constant, right? 2 times some constant plus 2 times some constant plus some other constant. So this is constant which was our base case, right? And let's just kind of uh, keep going and pl plug this in. We have 2b log 2 of 4 plus 4c minus c, right? We just plug 2 in here. And of course, this is also constant, right? This is constant, it's a constant. These are all constants. So we're good. Now, what's the next step? Our next step is our inductive hypothesis. And actually, I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use red inductive hypothesis. And this is where we um, assume t of k is equal to b k log 2. Sorry, it's a little messy. Let me just make that a little cleaner. b k log 2 of 2n. Oh, wait. Sorry. We're plugging that in for k. plus 2c k minus c. Okay, we assume this is true. And we're going to use this to prove, right, we want to typically use this to prove for k plus 1, right? Well, in this case, we're not going to use k plus 1 in a literal sense, we're actually going to 
uh, use this in what it really means for mathematical induction, and that is the next thing after k. That's really what this means, right? So um, maybe if I write it like this, if we assume n is equal to k, and we use that to prove for n is equal to um, what comes after k, right? The next thing after k. Because in our case, right, we can't have k plus 1 because we're using powers of 2, right? So k was equal to 8, and we try to prove for k equals 9. We already realized that that's not going to work for us, right? So if we know that k is equal to, um, oops, if we know that n is equal to uh, k, and this is all, n should be equal to some power of 2, then what would be the next one, right? The next one would be 2n, which would be 2k, which would be 2 times 2 to the i, which is 2 to the i plus 1, right, the next one. So uh, now that we got that out of the way, let me just erase this. So we know that we, we're going to do, uh, we're going to use this and prove for 2k. So let's do that. So here we go. This is our inductive step. So let's start it. We're going to say t of 2k is equal to, and we use this here, right? Plug it in here. So we have 2 times t of 2k over 2 plus b times 2k plus c. Right, and this is equal to 2 times t of k plus b times 2k plus c. And here, I'm going to write this in red. We're going to use our inductive step, or our inductive hypothesis, I mean. Right here, right? t of k. And we claim that this. So let's plug this in. 2 times, write this in red again, b k log 2 of 2k plus 2c k minus c, right? That was for this one, plus b times 2k uh, plus c. Okay, now let's just keep going here. All we got to do is uh, some algebra. So let's distribute the 2 through in here. And I'm going to write it like this, 2 times... Uh, actually, I'm going to group these a little bit so that we can see it, right? We're trying to get this 2k in here, right? So all these should be 2k. So I'm just going to group them to make it more obvious. So we have b times 2k, right? Log base 2, 2k, plus 2c times 2k minus 2c, plus, again, b times 2k, plus c. And now, um, we can see that we have a couple of groups here, right? We have b times 2k in both of these. So let's group those and pull out the b 2k. So we have b times 2k times log 2 of 2k plus 1 and then we have plus 2c times 2k and then we have a couple c's here that we can combine right to get minus c and then we need to uh, use some rules of logarithms and manipulate this around to get it to look like what we want right we need we're going to need 4k in here total uh, because we're trying to plug in 2k, right? So 2k 
2k in here and 2k in here. So far we've got this one, we've got this one. So how do we get uh, 4k, right? 2 times 2k. Well, 1 is also, right, we can represent that like this. It's to be 2k. We can say log 2 of 2k plus log 2 of 2, right? Because that's 1, right? Log 2 of 2 is 1. Plus 2c times 2k minus c. And by using uh, some rules of logarithms, right? When these both have the same base and we're adding them together, that means this is the same as uh, these insides multiplied, right? Just inside one of the logs. So our final equation should look like this. And actually, I'm going to not put that in there. I'm just going to say log base 2 of 2 times 2k plus 2c times 2k minus c. And as we can see here, I'm just going to, what color should I use? Blue. Right, we wanted to replace all of these with a 2k. And we did just that right here, right here, and right here. So we are done.